Well, welcome back. I'm still here with Holly Stevenson, man. She's got a great voice, hasn't she? To me, she sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. So earlier, you were talking and you, you mentioned a name which you kind of just nicely threw in there. Dave Stewart. How on earth did you connect with Dave? Dave saw a video of me... When, when I was 12, I wrote my first song, I guess. Oh. Like, a song that, I, that could be called and recognised by other people as a song rather than, you know, like, everybody attempts okay. to write songs. Um, yeah. but, and so I'd written this song and I'd picked up a guitar that I taught myself yeah. that day and decided to put some chords along to this song. And, um, yeah, more or less, I decided that the next step then, I'd written the song, I'd learnt the guitar, I'd put the chords to it, was then to ring up a pub and tell them I was going. Good on you. And my, my mum caught me walking out the door. She goes, where are you going? I said, I'm going, I'm going into the middle of London to do a gig. And she goes, what? And she said, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, she, she, didn't, she didn't stop me. She let me, she came with me, actually. She goes, you're not going without me. OK. So, um, yeah, that, um, it was that gig that got videoed and on YouTube. And then my mum's friend put it on her Twitter. Dave saw it, liked it and wanted to get in touch. That's brilliant. I mean, the way the internet works nowadays is fantastic, especially for your generation. Yeah. That's how, that's how we connect with people nowadays, isn't it? It's I all via that. It's... I'm not sure that's too much. But I don't think it should be used to connect with people, but it is, isn't it? It is. I mean, but, you know, your door opened, if you like, to have that experience to work with somebody yeah. of that calibre on the basis that he'd seen something on yeah. the internet. That's fantastic. So you've written quite a few songs, I imagine, now, have yeah, you? Yeah, I've written, I've written a few. You've written a few. Do you fancy playing us another one? Yeah, sure. I'll play you... This one, this is, um, my... This is probably the most jazziest one I've got. Oh, I but it. on the, I, I don't play the guitar on the recording, it's a yeah, lot nicer. Right. It's, it's called Breathlessly. Sounds fantastic in here. I'm telling you, I really enjoyed the experience of listening to you playing. Oh, thanks. So. I'm glad because <laughs> otherwise, I'm sorry. <laughs> Never be sorry. You sound amazing. So, recordings. You're obviously into it. Are you halfway through an album? Has your album finished. done? It's finished. It's out. Is it coming out? Or how do people get it? Beginning of next year. Yeah. Haven't got a set date for it, but. Have you heard it yet? Yeah, of course I have. Oh, that's yeah, good. thank you, Mum. <laughs> She's been playing it. Is she? Brilliant. Yeah, and if, and if she doesn't, then I can rely on another friend or family. Because I haven't listened, that's the one thing I haven't done, listened to it all the way through. That's the thing, isn't it? You know, you're in a recording studio, you go and you do your elements, mm. you're in and out all the time, and you maybe just get to listen to the elements. Sometimes it takes a long time before you sit down and listen to the final pitch. I've had it? opportunity to, I just don't like it. Oh, right. No, this is really not a very good sales pitch. Trust me, it's good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, I just, you know, it's hard. I guess it's hard, you know, to... You get close to it, though, don't you? Yeah. You know all the elements. 
Yeah, like, of course. Yeah, yeah. I like. Mic. I've what I've done is I've listened to all the like the music of it, like with it, take off, out my voice. Yeah. And I've listened to all of that. Yeah. Non-stop and yeah, I'm really I'm really proud of it. But yeah, you should be. Yeah. <laughs> Good on you. A nice one. So, is there a plan to have a tour with a big band and stop moving around? Do you God, think? yeah, that's my ultimate aim in life. Is it? Yeah, to be able to afford food and a big band. Food and a big band, what yeah. more could you ask for? Cook them in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. Where do you fancy travelling? Um, you must have some dreams about travelling somewhere. Yeah, you know what? I, I've got, there's nowhere that I don't really want to go. Yeah. Um, I, I think, you know, it's such a. Like, it's. I just want to go everywhere that I can, you know. Of course. And a musician's life sometimes allows you to do that if you're at a certain level, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, you can get on a train. Um, a plane. A plane. I want to go on a plane somewhere. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, that's the thing, you know, I feel like um, my life's been fulfilled. Last year I got to go to Jamaica to do a documentary on reggae. Um, Jamaica? You went to do yeah, a documentary? Yeah, I went to Jamaica. Tell me a little bit about that. So, if you're allowed to, of course. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, I'm not, there isn't a date when that's going to be released, but it's really cool. So there was a hurricane that you probably yeah, were absolutely. ripped through Jamaica mm -hmm. and the Studio 17 uh -huh. was literally found as a pile of rubble. And that had, you know, the specials, um, yeah. Bob Marley, everybody had... All the classics much, yeah, had been through recorded that, yeah. there. Yeah. And they had managed to, um, f well, salvage the tracks that hadn't been destroyed. Really? And Dennis Brown was amongst the tracks, and there was a song called When You Get Right Down To It that he had uh, started when he was 16, but he never finished. Oh. And at the, they were looking for a female vocalist to finish it, and the guy, Mark James, who's doing this documentary, came, well, I guess he found me, and he was like, well, you know what? It would be, like, amazing if you could do this, because, I mean, you're 16, 17 now at the time I was 16. He goes, if you could finish you know, what he started when he was 16, that would be wicked. So I got flown out to Jamaica. That's and stunning. that's that's always been something that, like the place I've wanted to go and the place that I'd be every day of my life if yeah. I could. Yeah. So that's like a dream come true for me. And ever since, you know, I, I'm just like, I will go anywhere because that was top of my list. And now I'm happy to travel anywhere. I think you've had an amazing life at such a young age. Yeah, I'm and the opportunities been extremely you've had. fortunate. Yeah, yeah fantastic. Well, I'm really looking forward to hear about that documentary when it comes out. So you must yeah. inbox me and let me know how that's going to yeah, happen. Yeah, definitely. I'd love to see that. So what I think we'll do is I'll start to close out the show. Do you fancy doing one more song for us? Sure. What's this one about? Um, What's it this called? One, this one's Dried Out Lies. Um, this is one that I wrote in Jamaica, actually. And my mum gave me my capo. What did I do with it? Have I sat on it? Yes, I have. There you go. You've got it. There we go. Um, yeah, so this is Dried Out Lies. This earth alone with a brave heart that is tender and a smile that is graced. Now I won't be one that you can remember, but I. Is the last breath that you breathed to me? Oh, now is it the finale of what our love has become? Oh, and I'm guilty for I have been fooled. Dried out lies, living in restless 
But you objectified me So it was easy to leave Easy to slice me with your caustic tongue Yes, your sublime imitations of this Loving man, fool to judge And a family man, oh, it was dried out 